As King 5 environmental specialist Scott Miller tells us, for one bald eagle and squim, the 4th of July marked the end of a long road to recovery. Ooh, freedom Day, yeah. Handling an angry eagle is dangerous work, even for experts like Jay Moore. She runs a wildlife rehab center and has nursed more than a dozen eagles back to health. This four-year-old male got tangled in a fence. Three months later, the wounds are still raw, but he can get no better in a cage. He's banging himself on the netting and in the flight pan, so he needs to go out and he won't be running into anything out in the wild. I just kind of pull his head a little bit and... First, he must endure some pre-flight measurements and a crowd that can't resist watching an eagle fly free on the 4th of July. This is where the eagle was rescued. He got tangled in this electric fence while going after a duck here in Donna and Lewis Martin's backyard. Today, as the Martins looked on, Jay Moore carried the eagle to the very same spot and opened the cage door. One whiff of freedom and the eagle was gone. All right. <laughs> yeah. There, there he goes. Yeah. Right he's over the American flag. Wow, he's flying beautiful. This is America, you know, and that's what it's all about. Is uh, you know, just the land of the free and the home of the brave, and that's what he is. Oh, you saw him go out of here. And the happy ending doesn't stop there. This is the duck the eagle almost died trying to devour. He survived too, and today waddled nearby, unaware, no doubt, that an old nemesis was back in the air. In Squim, Scott Miller, King 5 News. More than 100 bald eagles live in Clallam County alone, and eagle populations are on the rebound all over the United States. That was a beautiful was sight. Beautiful. <laughs> Stay tuned, we'll have a special look at all the local scenes from the 4th of July a few minutes later in the show. Let freedom wing was the phrase of the 4th at the Northwest Raptor Center Thursday as they released a bald eagle which had been nursed back from severe injuries. Four-year-old male was severely injured in April when he became entangled in an electric fence on a farm west of Squim. The eagle had been swooping low to munch on one of the ducks uh, when it hit the fence, eventually getting rescued by Jay Moore and her mother Maggie Baker from the Raptor Center. The bird was nursed back to health and before it was released it was measured and banded by state biologist Shelley Ament and Gary Moore sprayed the bird's remaining wounds with protectant. The eagle was then taken back to the Martin farm where it could be released to freedom into its home territory. He hit the fence, the jolt and everything, he kind of shuddered and everything and wrapped up in the fence. The wire was around his wings. And Mr. Martin turned the fence off and we were able to unwrap the wire from around his wings and on both wings he was burned, and the sores never healed due to being in the flight pan and him wanting to be released and go. He was always banging him, so the vet and I decided that it's time to let him go and he'd heal out in the wild. This one was real special to me. My mom was with me on this when we rescued him April 1st. This last Tuesday, she had a stroke and is in Port Angeles Hospital, so this one was for her. Incidentally, Jay's uh, mom is doing well, uh, showing some signs of recovery and is in good spirits. The eagle was last seen winging southward with another bird, which uh, might be its mate. Remember, if you'd like to volunteer your time or money to help the Raptor Center with its rescue work, call 683-2283 or 452-2677.